All right, here we go. Super fast. This is a thing from the Dollar Tree. Uh, it's a crappy bell jar made of plastic, but it's what I'm doing. And so hot knife, hot wire cutter thing on foam, and a 3D printed piece that's left over from something, and, uh, and stir strip, coffee stir strips, which I bought from the Amazon and uh, the old uh, hobby saw, and just super glue and sticks. And uh, this is just a weirdo idea I had about a uh, monster snail in a cage. And so we're making it because it'll look kind of weird in a bell jar. And uh, it's just kind of like whatever. Oh, yeah, so this is a silicone mat. And uh, your uh, super glue won't much stick to a silicone mat. It will eventually because you'll get holes in it. And yeah. But, you know, they're super cheap. So whatever. So yeah, just uh, stir sticks and just cut them up and make a thing because it's supposed to be like a ramshackle kind of thing. Uh, it's kind of supposed to fit alongside, like in the same world as the uh, caterpillar monster thing. Uh, this is just okay. So that's a uh, fiberglass mesh for drywall tape that I've just cut to be like the size of the cage and just kind of dinking around trying to figure out what I'm doing. And so, yeah, so the size needed to be smaller because I didn't measure any of this stuff. I just threw it together, so I'm just kind of like rolling with what I got. Uh, yeah. And so I just glued it into a little cage shape. Uh, super glue, super glue accelerator. Super quick. Didn't take very long. And, uh, yeah. I cut up a little piece to make a little wedge to hold up the, uh, wall section thing it's like a fake wall section that looks like brick but isn't brick it was used as a ramp for the uh, snail excretions to slide down because that's the point of keeping the snail in a slit in a thing it's because it slime is useful for something I don't know uh, Bulls Bizarre Bizarre Broken Bobbles uh, like share subscribe tell a friend look at the magic and majesty of that shot okay anyways the side view uh, so this is where I like screwed up because I cut these out because I thought I didn't want to put a lid on this We'll just make like a uh, Barbed wire around the top kind of thing. So I put poles on it and so I cut out Some things to be like barbed wire-y kind of stuff uh, There's lots of different ways to do it. This is just one of the ways that I like to do it uh, Just cut some strips off that fiberglass tape. Oh, and okay, so airbrush the old surface primer and uh yeah to clean it up a little bit because it's a little whipple wopple dippa doo doo or whatever from uh, last time and uh it doesn't work i don't know uh i think i had this primer stored in that jar too long so it like has some solidified chunkies in it and it just kind of like clogs so i switched to the uh, gravity feed one and it's like super tiny and then I'm just like eh, well, I'll stir some thinner into it and it's still kind of like just doing this little tiny whatever even it's on full blast and it keeps clogging and whatnot and so here in a little bit I just give up give up on it just give up on it come on I know you will uh, yeah so just start I just uh, yeah I'm just, just it's not, it's not doing it. It's kind of sort of not. It's very sputtery. Uh, dump it out. It's cleaner. Yeah, da, 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 da. <sighs> that stuff, uh, it works really great if you just use what's in your thing and then dump out what's left. So this is the snail. It's a 3D print. My resin printer is uh, from a different, it's leftovers from a different project I did that had nothing to do with this channel. I don't know. It's just a weird idea I had. Here's uh, some dead space. Okay, so this is one I just decided. Okay, I'm tired of using this uh, airbrush. I'll just paint it on. Here's some more dead space because who knows? All right, anyway. So I just started brushing. Yeah. So yeah. Just use a cheap brush and slap it on there. Uh, and when it's like on the uh, fiberglass stuff, uh, just use the airbrush here just to blow like the holes out or whatever, uh, stop the bubbles from going across there. Wrap this across around a bottle, my uh, 
uh, wash bottle, the homemade wash bottle, and the, yeah. Anyway, hmm. So just uh, prime it all, all the wood and black, because that's just how I do wood. Paint it black, and then come back to browns. And, uh, yeah. Painty, 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 painty black. And this is all, uh, just, uh, apple barrel craft paint. Painty, 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 black, painty, black, painty, black, black, painty, black, 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 black. Okay. And, uh, so this is the gray I made out of, I had a big old thing of white and some black, and I just made a gray, because I was tired of having to pick out all these different grays, or, you know, buy all these grays, so I just made a gray that I use as my basic gray. And that's what I call it, basic gray, because it's like half white, half black, basic gray. Uh, unwind those things, and then I just put paint on my hand and drag it through the regular through there to get it all over it and then paint the bricks brick colored on the front and a different kind of darker brick color on the back uh, I think it was the thing in the front so yeah I'm putting a, a tannish color yellowish color on the snail for the snail body and uh, painting some other stuff. Oh, yeah, it's the brick, the different brick color for the back. It's like one's brighter than the other. Uh, paint the snail blue. Give him some little eyeball-y things and some dupa schmoopa mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm hmm So yeah, paint, paint, paint. Uh, this is the darkest brand I'm gonna use. I put a kind of a slap coat of it. It's uh, yeah. You don't worry about covering every bit. You want the dark to show through. That gives you like your wood tones and whatnot. And uh, to be honest, I did a very bad job of this uh, paint job on this thing. But it's whatever. So this is the medium brown, which covers less. It's like a, a full, like an overbrush, a brush, and this is of course the tri brush. Gives you kind of like a wood tone. Anyway, and okay, so add some different blues into the snail shell to just give it some variance and uh, then kind of go over it with the original color just kind of blend it mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so this is just flesh wash from army painter goes over the whole thing oh I put some dots on him I guess I didn't film that I put some dots on him and his underbelly is a different color than his top way more detail than you need okay so this is snail poop falling down yeah uh, snail poop looks like bird poop, like in the real world. So, you know, giant bird poop and snail poop look alike. Uh, so, yeah, just uh, did some a lighter gray on the stone and then a lighter, lighter gray. And a little touches of white. And touching. Oh, okay, so there's the dots. I put some dots on the stone. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is the black wash. Just wash the whole thing in black. I went a little too thick, a little too crazy over the wood. So I covered up all, then cover up, but, well, I kind of covered up. I didn't obliterate all the work I did, but I did. Uh, this is uh, just <clears throat> PVA glue, and that is my uh, bits and pieces uh, flock. It's just really all the other flocks. That, it's a bunch of flocks I have that all wind up together. And I added some hay in there for uh, it to be like the snail's bedding or whatever, or maybe his food. It's a little dry brush of silver on there. Yeah, over the metalish parts and coat the snail with the, uh, that clear glue and kind of use that as the snail slime that's supposed to be dripping out because it will dry clear it's not very strong as a glue but it works pretty good for like a clear goo okay so here we go I put this uh, barbed wire on the top da -da -da, and then I have this oh crap brain break moment where it's like oh yeah it's way too tall so I gotta break all that off that was a waste of time and then uh, fix the paint up, make sure it'll fit. Oh, yeah. make sure it'll fit without it so I don't have to do any more work that I'll have to redo later or whatever. Uh, where did I have to cut the uh, legs down a little lower on the uh, cage thing? Anyway, so I just make a top, just popsicle sticks. I do a cross beam, just single cross beam on. I could have done a double, but single swan. That's the idea. But I'm thinking that these snails aren't very. Uh, active on getting out and then we just cover him in uh, goop uh, yeah sealer oh, uh, this is yeah okay so this is back in time anyway okay whatever 
Uh, we're going to put uh, the grass on from another angle, just paint PVA on and uh, shake it out and knock off the excess and let dry, you know, I think overnight or whatever. This is uh, later, or maybe it's the same color, I don't know. This is the hay. Hay on there, da, 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 and I dump that into my everything uh, jar, or maybe the trash, I don't remember, one or the other. And this is just goo to make the snail slimy, whatever. And stick him down. Add some more goo to the underneath of the cage so it's like dripping down from where he would be. Add some uh, not so bright a goo to his shell. <clears throat> Put on the uh, barbed wire which doesn't stay very long because it's just too tall. So yeah, we just break it off. Break those off and you know make make trash in the trash that goes in the trash. Anyway, so okay, I'm cutting a lid. I don't know why I doubled or showed both angles of this and not like cut them together. I don't know. Had a, a brain flop flubble moment. Okay. So put the Mrs. Butterlumbers shower stud up. Okay, this is later after everything's dry. Paint that black. So dry for a little bit, go in with the dark brown. And a light brown touch up. Glue this, just glue it down. Uh, I should have put hinges or something on it, but I did not. So maybe the lid's heavy enough to keep the snail in, I don't know. Oh, and the lid, uh, the bottles in my super glue went to crap. They always do. They never last as long as the super glue does for me. I don't know. It's just a thing. So I just used a random uh, bottle I have from something. Okay, anyway. Yeah, put the lid on. Glue it down. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's the bottle. It's a uh, whatever. I have a couple of these from something. I don't know where they came from. And here we are. It's done in its little bell jar thing. We do a good spinneroony thing. And uh, here he looks. Here's what he looks like up close. And this is kind of why I wanted to avoid the lid because there's so much uh, shadow in there. It's really kind of hard to show him. And maybe I should have picked different colors, but I just rolled with it. And I didn't use a static grass applicator or magic static wand, magic grass wand, whatever it is. Uh, okay, so we're going to try and do like some closer up spinneroonies, I think. Yeah. He looks alright. Looks like a weird snail thing. He doesn't, yeah, it's whatever. Doesn't have to make sense. I think it looks okay. It's a weird little uh, diorama y thing. It's just an idea I had and I rolled with it. Um, I have other projects in the works, but this was like a thing that just looked kind of like it was an interesting, weird idea. Basically, I sometimes just get out some of my random plastic bits of crap and go, hey, I'll make a thing. And this is one of those where I had a snail and this wall piece and I was like hmm 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 so this is what I did they're like in scale those are like bricks no those are concrete block size so you know he's in scale with the uh, mushroom thing and the caterpillar anyway more spinner rooney roonies and meeple mopples and flinka blogs in small and small girl, I wish to have a stick out for a little bit of a And I'll probably have to go pull out some stuff or whatever. I don't know, this is, it's just a thing. It's a cheap thing, it was fun to do. It gave me something to do. I'm trying to figure out my next project in my head. I have a project going, but it's like I'm kind of stuck on what I'm doing. And so, you know, this is better than another wizard hut, right? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for coming. Uh, Bulls Bazaar, Bazaar, Broken Bobbles. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Tell the janitor at the school. See ya.